Hey, welcome back to my channel. It is Sarah Michaels here. So we're going to chat today about my husband getting a job outside of the home for, I don't know, it was like the past month. Uh, you know, if you're one of those people who have said that to our family in the last few years, why doesn't he get a real job? Well, guess what he did. And today I want to share with you what our experience was, what happened, uh, what we both learned, where we're at now, and what we're doing next. Okay, um, so just to give you guys a little bit of backstory so you kind of understand where we're at. Um, my husband and I met going on four years ago. We're married. We are a blended family. We have four kids. I'm an online entrepreneur. Um, I have my own business. I've been working online now for going on 10 years. So short of a little stint when I went back to the workforce for just a little bit of time when I went through my divorce, I have been home you know, build, making my income online and doing that. We've been super fortunate. It allowed us to, you know, kind of be able to really do our own thing. We've, were able to travel, you know, do all of this. We homeschooled the kids. So when my husband decided to stay home uh, after we got married and to, to take care of the kids, we really arrived at that decision because as an entrepreneur who was doing done for you services, okay, that's one of the things that I was offering at the time. Um, I found it very challenging, not only to homeschool, but to also watch two toddlers at home while trying to build a legitimate business. <clears throat> and we also, we realized that uh, I was spending anywhere from $1,800 to $2,250 per month just to send our kids to daycare so I could get some work done. So obviously he figured out at that time, he was like, well, it's not even really worth it for me to go to work. Why don't we just take the income we were paying the daycare and um, I will just watch our children. So that's really how we arrived at the decision of him staying home with our family. It felt like the right thing to do. I know it's very non-traditional. <clears throat> We've gotten, you know, we got a lot of like sideways looks and some like disapproving stuff. And we've just heard the worst comments from people when they find that we're both home. They assume that like one of us is a bum or, you know, he's just living off of me, which isn't the case. Okay. Like I, it drives me nuts when people make <clears throat> those kind of comments towards my husband like oh so he just like he's home and you work it's like nah he does all of the day-to-day -day things so that I can operate my business okay because there's no way that I can get all of that done without him so meanwhile it had been about three years of both of us being home and him doing the kids and obviously we moved around, we traveled, we homeschooled. It was a lot. And so, and I think there gets to be, um, you know, once you do something for so long, you kind of start to take it for granted, right? So I feel like, at least on my end, I don't want to pretend to speak for my husband, but I feel like on my end, I was kind of taking for granted the amount of work that he was doing um, that allowed me to do my business. And I think he kind of also, well, he told me this, he was also like, you know, I didn't realize after that long, you know, you get burnt out by the kids, but just how much of an awesome opportunity it is to be able to not have to go to a real job, to not have to get up to an alarm clock, to be able to make our own schedule. So here's how this went down. <clears throat> Obviously, we, Florida wasn't working out and we decided to move from Florida, um, just a little side note. I knew that I always wanted a beach house and a lake house in the Northwoods of Wisconsin, just to be clear. I just always thought that <laughs> I would be in Florida full-time in Wisconsin part of the year. We had it flipped. So we moved to Florida, moved back up to the Wisconsin, put the kids in school. And this was before the whole coronavirus pandemic. Like literally our kids were in school for two weeks and then Ah, COVID-19 pandemic so that our kids were back home anyways. So here's how this went. So he um, was looking for a job. 
because we were just in this place where it was like, okay, kids are in school, whatever. Um, I've put, uh, he put all of everything on the back burner, like his dreams, his goals, his career, his everything in order for our family to succeed, which is totally selfless and amazing. And so um, he just happened to be cruising the job um, opportunity listings one day and found what he thought sounded exactly like his dream job that he's always wanted to learn this skill, which is like high, um, large project, lakefront landscaping, stuff like that, doing some stonework, um, really awesome. So he took the position and I was really excited. I was a little nervous, but I'm happy. I was happy for him because, you know, he was gonna be able to pursue something that he'd wanted to do. And he's always been so supportive of me, my dreams, my business. Okay, so here's how this went. I, oh my gosh, I was just like, the first day, I was like, um, okay, because we have four kids, it's now summertime, they're all home, okay, there's no daycares that are open, there's no schools, there's nowhere to take them, everything was shut down, so, and then my husband obviously has his job, so here I was homeschooling the four kids, um, they get up at about 5.30 to 6.30 because it's summertime. So if I wanted to have any time with my husband before he went to work, we were getting up at five every day just to have that little bit of time before he went to work and for me to do any kind of things I wanted to do in the morning before the kids got up. So then literally from about 6.30 in the morning until nine at night, it, the kids are awake. Okay, because it's summertime, they ain't falling asleep before that sunlight goes down. So it was just so much. Okay, we have a five, seven, nine, and 11 year old at this time. They all have separate curriculums, separate things that the school was wanting them to do. So you're, you're, we're homeschooling each one of them in their own separate little area. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a full time thing. Not only that, but part of what we value as a family is our health and wellness. And that also includes the food that we put in our body. We don't do a lot of processed food. And so as a result, um, most of our meals are done whole foods, non-processed and usually 100% from scratch. So there I was homeschooling, cooking three meals a day, plus snacks, doing the cleanup, doing the house, doing the laundry, um, squeezing in my workout for like uh, me getting ready and doing my workout was about an hour, which that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's if you do a half an hour workout and you only take half an hour to get ready. Um, so I squeezed that in there and then I would, you know, try to be online connecting with my clients in the afternoon on my phone the best that I could. But that was pretty much it from morning until evening. My husband got home in the evenings, you know, and he was like busting his butt every day it was a really physically demanding job like insanely like lifting up these huge 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 mounds of dirt and boulders and everything <clears throat> and um really i realized how much i under appreciated him prior to him getting a job and he also realized that he had under appreciated how much of a privilege it is to be able to be home. Like, yes, we're with our kids. Yes, it can be stressful. But at the end of the day, we're like here together. And when we're all together, we like have more freedom. And so we, and we as a family, like started to lose money with him working outside of the home, which was probably one of the craziest things to realize was like, hey, when I took all those steps back from my business, um, even though he was making really great money, like more money than he's ever like made in his life in one time, we were still losing money because my business was going down the drain. And so it really just, for like those four weeks, it really just made us realize like what our priorities are, what our focus is. And he was like, you know, why am I out busting my butt for somebody else's um, dream or for someone else's, you know, company when I could be at home building our family's financial future because I we we both believe that my business and you know his and my business together is what's going to create financial wealth uh for our family in the future 
So, um, and then not only that, but it just, uh, it wasn't a really, it, it wasn't exactly what he was expecting. And the, the, it wasn't exactly the most, how do I say, healthy environments for him to be in. I will leave it at that. <clears throat> um, it just w wasn't really fitting. And he's like, you know, I'm at an age where I just don't need to be in, in an environment that isn't healthy. So, wow, <laughs> he decided um, just to let his boss know that it wasn't working out, which was fine. He found a, re a new replacement right away. And now Jordan is back home already. And because of that, uh, and just to be clear, <clears throat> um, I recommend if you are starting a business, I do recommend keeping your a job. So keeping someone's job as long as possible. But when it gets to the point where you're actually losing money by that person going to work and not even the like if they have insurance benefits or anything, that isn't even enough. Um, then there does come a point where you do have to, you know, have the conversation and take the leap and really decide whether or not it's right for your family, whether you're both going to be at home. I also realized that I wasn't properly valuing him as a pivotable, pivotable, like a pivotal and key piece of the success of my business. I think going into this entire experience, I just kind of had the mindset like, yeah, I was a single mom once. I can totally do this again. Like, I don't even need you. Okay. That's totally, I think, how my mindset was. And I realized really, really quickly how much he has done for me. Like, you guys, my husband cooks my meals every day. He makes my coffee. He brings me the things. He allows me. Like, if you have, if you saw where my life was before I met my husband, and where it's at now, it's entirely different. I am an entirely different person. I have time during the day to myself. I have time for personal development. I have time to work on my business. I have time to work out. And the reason that I have that time is because my husband has invested into my business and done that part to allow me to do that. So he very much treats what he does at home as a job. Like he doesn't look at it like, oh, I'm going to sit in my butt. Like I'm a stay at home dad all day. Like, no, that's not what he does at all. He actually treats it like work. And I realized that I wasn't properly valuing that. So we sat down, we had a conversation and decided that we're going to give him a raise. Um, well, I decided I'm like, you're getting a raise. You're getting a percentage of my profits across the board <laughs> like that my company brings in for the foreseeable future. And, um, so yeah, so that was like really good for both of us to be able to kind of like realize that. And he also realized like, hey, I really missed being home. Like the kids can be really crazy because there's four of them and they're very active and it's a lot sometimes. But at the end of the day, we've been like super blessed. So for example, I just have to show you this. So for example, this is where we live. We are on in like our little wilderness retreat we have like in our dream house and so he's out having a campfire with the kids we went for a drive this morning it's just like we're super fortunate you know um and I think neither one of us was really we both had gotten in a place where we'd just been doing it for so long we were kind of taking it for granted so <laughs> I'm really happy that he's no longer there and that he is home and we're home together um it was really eye-opening for me. It was a big relief and I'm just really, really excited. So um, there you have it. If you're wondering why my husband got a job, what our experience was, where we're at now, that's the conclusion that we've come to. We came to the conclusion that building our family's financial future is the most important thing. Um, and we just really love being home together. So there you have it. Um, that's all I got for you today. That's all she wrote, folks. I am going to rub some more of this on my shoulders right now. This is called, by the way, if you ever, this is totally random and unrelevant to the video. So, but I'll just tell you, if you ever get headaches or if you ever get really sore muscles, this is called past tense. I am obsessed with this stuff. So I got it from my local health food store, but you can also order online. Um, I have a naturopathic doctor that you can order from if you don't know anyone. Um, so I can totally hook you up, but oh my gosh. So I'm gonna rub this on. Um, 
<laughs> probably take a little nap because I have been the nap queen lately. And um, yeah, we're just getting ready for my birthday weekend. We were supposed to do a birthday getaway. Ugh, there's ants, it's spring, gross. So we were supposed to do a birthday getaway. Like we were gonna take the camper. Can you guys believe that we used to live full time in our little pop-up camper? I can't believe it, it was just one year ago. <laughs> Anyways, so we were gonna take our pop-up camper, go somewhere, just me and Jordan. My mom was gonna watch the kids. Our first time alone since February, January? Uh, no, not even, September? Like the last time that Jordan and I have been alone for any length of time was probably last September before we moved down to Florida. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, eight months, y'all. It is over freaking due. So we were going to have some alone time, but we drove to the campgrounds this morning and realized that they're closed still. So no bueno. So we're just going to leave the camper up. <clears throat> it was like, you know what? We live on a lake. Like, why do we do that as humans? Why do we like have to go somewhere else, even if we have everything we want right in front of us? I don't get it. So he's like, just leave the camper up here. So we put the camper on the side of our property um, by the campfire so we can see the lake. So we're just gonna do an at-home getaway. And um, so yeah, so there's that. And then I'm doing a very, very exciting announcement video. I don't know if that's the right word. I, I don't know if announcement's the right word. Um, so we've got to get all the props for that this weekend. It's for my birthday. So there's that. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and click the thumbs up for subscribe. Let me know what you want me to talk about, okay? Let me know if you've got any video requests, if you're like, if you want me to talk about how we were living minimally full-time, do you want me to talk about how I built my business online? Do you want me to talk about parenting, like blended family life, like my my health journey? You let me know what kind of videos you want to see here because that's really, I mean, this is about you. This is, that's why I'm making these videos on this channel. So thanks for hanging out with me today for a little bit. I'm going to put all my links down below, uh, like my Amazon links, my shop links, um, all that jazz. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be my birthday weekend video. So stay tuned. And if you want to follow along behind the scenes, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, if you click subscribe here to my channel and you click the bell, you'll get notified whenever a new video drops. So thanks so much. Have an awesome rest of your day. Mwah.